Hey cuties, how y'all doing? We are back with another video. I am so grateful for y'all. Like I said, thank you for coming and tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to another video. I appreciate you for taking your time out to just come and sit with me and talk with me. Welcome to the Cutie Talk. Cause we are about to just discuss some questions um, that you guys had asked me uh, on Instagram. I had put up like, you know, some topics that y'all want to talk about. Cutie Talk, aka Girl Talk, you know, whatever y'all want to call it. So get y'all wine. Um, I'm recording on my phone, so I had to go to old school way and I had to write out the questions that y'all asked me. Grateful for y'all interacting with me. Like, go follow me on Instagram at I am Jasmine Janae because I think that I like this and I want to keep this going. And I think that I want to make this a thing. Like, you know, the cutie talk. You know, cuties, what's up? Let's talk. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's, let's talk. Let's chat, you know? And so... Um, I'm definitely going to be doing this again, so I want you to definitely follow me on Instagram and TikTok too. And, you know, just connect with me and definitely like, comment, and subscribe and tap that bell so that way we can stay connected. Y'all, I'm still learning what to say, so <laughs> bear with me. But, yes, like I said, grab y'all some wine. I got me some wine. Y'all can see I already started drinking it so I could, like, be a little, like, you know, not as scared. <laughs> But yeah, so the first topic, we're going to go right ahead and get into it. The first topic that we have is about mental health. And diving deep, deeper into that, we're going to just talk about like how cycles and hormones basically, you know, make them hard to deal with and make it hard to, you know, harder to deal with mental health. So first, I think mental health is something that is so important. Like I said, mental health is, you know, what controls, in my opinion, how we live you know what i'm saying from depression to anxiety to and these are on the negative aspects you know but when we think about positive aspects when you think about you know just being happy being joyful being peaceful you know just the mental state that you are in determines i feel like the direction that your life will go and i feel like having a positive mental health is something that is so important and something that we don't we are now talking about and i'm so grateful that it's becoming so important because I know growing up, you know, like, um, I'm gonna get more into that, but I'm 23 years old, but you know, growing up and just even before me, I know growing up, mental health was not something that was talked about as often or something that was, you know, blasted and something that was, you know, important or talk in the households. And, you know, and so just the fact that now we are talking about these things and making it aware that how important it is to go to therapy and to heal and to understand that mental health and yourself and self-love is so important. And we're going to get more into that later because there are some more questions in regards to self-love. But I just think having a strong mental health and understanding that it's okay to not be okay. You know, it's not okay to know you're not okay and not actively work on it. But it's okay to not be okay. You're human. You know, we all go through things. We all feel like crashing out. We all feel like, like, oh my God, like, what am I about to do? You know, we all go through just so many different things trials and tribulations in life that cause mental health we go through puberty as we're going to talk more about the hormones especially as a woman like you have to understand hormones and you know our monthly cycles make it so hard to not only deal with myself because now we emotional y'all what i'm talking about on my on my cycle time i am so emotional i'm so extra like it's like run forest run do not be around like it's a ticking time bomb and so not only do we have to be i'll say as women i could speak from a woman aspect like you have to still be able to go to work still be able to get up and do the daily functions that you need to do but your stomach your stomach is painful you know what i'm saying like i'm hurt and then it's like i'm frustrated i'm mad i'm sad i'm hungry you know what i'm saying but it's like i just want to chill in my bed and lay down and it's like people really don't understand that and it's so hard to still fight through and still be able to deal with you know the aspects of being a woman because not only do you have your cycle but you got your ovulation and your ovulation period is like a week a week and a half then you got your cycle that's like a week you know what I'm saying? sometimes a week and a half so when you really got like then you have like the time leading up to those periods so you really got like one good week in a month to just be in a clear state of mind and that one week baby you better use it 
use that one week because <laughs> it's so stressful being a woman and keeping it together you know um because our hormones are high because we go through a certain level of emotions and a certain level of um how can i say it natural things you know we're naturally hormonal we're naturally have emotions and we naturally um deal with those sometimes we like dang i'm overwhelmed i just want to cry i know i'm a cry baby baby i cry <laughs> I'll be right back. Let me go cry. And it's, give me one second. I'll be right back. Let me go cry. And I'll be, <laughs> give me one second. Because sometimes it takes just like a big cry to just, when you feeling overwhelmed, when you feeling frustrated. Oh, that's a good one too. When you mad, child, when I'm mad, I know I cry. And people be thinking like, I'm sad. No, baby. <laughs> I'm trying not to, you know, I'm trying not to punch you. Like, I'm mad. So just as a woman, like, you just deal with so many different emotions, especially tied into your thoughts, tied into, you know, the pressures. I'm not a mom yet, so it's like I don't even understand that aspect yet. But I can't even imagine, you know, being a woman and having children and dealing with those pressures, dealing with your cycle, dealing with, you know, trying to make sure your kids good, dealing with trying to make sure you do good in work. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm not even there yet and I'm somewhat I'm stressed. So I just think being a woman comes with so much pressure. Because not only do we have these emotions that a lot of times we can't control, but a lot of times, well, in order to be a, a woman or, or society wise or in order to, you know, be looked at like a you know a woman or not be judged by our emotions um we have to not act in them you know a lot of times we're told don't act in your emotions oh you have to you know take your emotions out of things and and it's hard and, and we can't be sitting here just being accepted and saying like i'm emotional i need some time i need a minute like let me go take this time let me cry my period we say cycles my period i'm on my period i'm mad i'm frustrated this my mom it might be the simple things my burger it didn't come out right like i feel like crying because i was really wanting that burger <laughs> i really wanted that burger and i wanted it to be right and it wasn't right and i'm my period and i got cravings and i'm mad but if we express that now you know we're looked at differently or we looked at as incapable of handling certain things or you know and i, I don't think that that's right so i do think that we should be allowed a lot of grace as women, you know, dealing with hormones, dealing with emotions, understanding that it's okay to operate in our soft feminine aspects. That's a part of being a woman, you know what I'm saying? That's a part of our nature. And I don't think that we should be judged or looked at differently because we're more emotional to topics because, um, we we feel a, a deeper level of, about topics and that doesn't make us weak that doesn't make us you know um incapable or anything that they say i think it makes us strong because we're able to sit there in a vulnerable state and express our emotions you know we're able to sit there and be strong enough to say this is how i'm feeling this is how i'm reacting and then we're even stronger because we get right back up we we'll cry for like five minutes baby we get right back up hmm and I wouldn't even give it five. Give me a good three. Give me a good three minutes and I just wipe my tears. Baby, I get back up stronger than ever. And so if anything, I feel like crying in our emotions and our vulnerability and our feminine, venom, what am I trying to say? Um, femininity, if that's the word. Excuse me if that ain't. <laughs> it's a superpower. You know, I feel like that is something that we should embrace. That's something that we should stand on. Like, no, baby, um, I, I have emotions. That doesn't mean I'm I'm less of a woman. That doesn't mean that I'm weaker. That no, I have emotions. That it that hurt me. That made me cry. But it didn't stop me. It didn't it didn't it didn't change me. It it, it made me feel some stuff. When I say it didn't change me, it didn't change me negatively. If anything, it taught me. You know what I'm saying? I cry. I got right back up. But you know I keep back going going right back on about them emotions and cycles. But to round that part up, long story short, I feel like operating in our emotions, in our hormones, which is tied together, like operating and taking that and understanding like I'm hormonal right now, I'm emotional right now. It's okay. Don't be don't feel no type of way about that. Embrace that. And also too, that's how with mental health, um, and this goes back to not just women but men as well. 
make sure that you take care of your mental health. Make sure that you put you first. At the end of the day, well, I'll say whoever you believe in, if you believe in a higher power, whatever, you know, I believe in God. So I must speak for myself. I put God first and I put myself, you know, and I feel like in order to be my best self for others, I have to be my best self in genuine, in, in general. <laughs> I say in genuine. I got to be genuinely my best self in general. general. Um, so I think mental health is definitely important. And I think that we should be, have more grace for people when they say my mental health isn't there. Don't judge. Don't look different. Like, no, just accept that and, and be willing to say, dang, how can I help you? What, what is it that you need for your mental health? And, and, and being um, tapped into that, because that is, I feel like the key and like that determines the direction of your life the way your mental health is you know um okay so next topic we're going to talk about sex and have i ever faked it girl mm. let me add a sip some wine on it first of all i am very shy when it comes to stuff like this but for y'all I'm going to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and, and get into it a little bit more. So, I lost my virginity when I was in high school. I think I was, yeah, I was 15 years old. So, I don't know if that's young. I feel like I wanted to wait a little bit longer now that I'm older. But I was 15, um, and I feel like at that time, you know, you don't know what you, you know what I'm saying? You just learn it. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Don't know what I'm doing. And don't know what to expect. Like, I hadn't been experienced. And I'm not going to say I'm too experienced now. Like, don't. No, I'm not experienced. But, you know, what I'm trying to say, like, I, you know, wasn't. I didn't have multiple experiences to, like, I didn't have different experiences to, like, compare it. So, I didn't know what I was supposed to be feeling, if that makes sense. You know, like, I didn't know what I was, like, I didn't know what it felt like you know, I was a virgin. And I was in high school, like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hadn't, you know, adventured off and went to college, and now I'm 23. You know, I hadn't had um, other experiences, shall I say. So, I didn't know what to compare it to. And so, now that I can say, like, now that I've had other experiences, and I know, like, you know, the difference, yes, Yes, bitch. Yes, I'll fake that shit. <laughs> I thought, like, not in my head knowing, like, oh, yeah, I'm finna just, no, like, I'm not finna try to struggle on my ego. If anything, I'ma just, like, I ain't finna be, well, you bogus. Like, I ain't finna do that. Like, I'm not, like, no, pay me. But I felt like I never, you know, like, if anything, I just be like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just not going to entertain that if I don't feel something. You know what I'm saying? Like, And, too, like, for me, sex is very, like, I'm a relationship type of person. So, like, sex is very, um, what am I going to say, sacred to me. Like, my mama always taught me, like, my, you know what I'm saying, my, you know, her, she is a prize. You know, she is a, a, a goal. Like, you know, you don't just give that to anybody. You, like, at the end of the day, your body is your body. You know what I'm saying? And then I do what I want to do with my body. I don't have to explain what I do. But at the end of the day, I always make sure that I value myself and that I share my body with people that value myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, would, that value me as much as I value me, if not more, you know? Because I, I just can't get with that. You know, that's just me. I'm not saying anything is wrong with that. It's, I'm just saying, like, I'm not the type. I'm like, I never had a one-night stand. Like, I haven't, you know, had multiple, a lot of experiences. Like, I, I haven't, I've always been in a relationship. So, like, I've always, you know, been in a relationship or talked to somebody heavy, you know. So, like, if I had, you know, if, if I crossed that line with somebody, it was because I felt, uh, you know, intimacy. I felt, you know, that we could potentially like go far you know what i'm saying like i haven't been able like i just can't like i'm telling y'all like i even think about that shit i'm like can i just fuck? like i can't y'all like i'm too like i'm too i love too hard like i'm too like i'm too like relationships type. like if i if i share my body with you like i with you like like you my man like because you know what i'm saying like i'm i'm giving you a part of me and i know like you're going to respect it. You know, you're going to value it. You're not going to just disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? Even regardless of what happened in the relationship, I know that you, I didn't, like, I don't regret. No, I don't want to ever regret, like, damn, he didn't, reserve, he didn't deserve my body. You know what I'm saying? Or some shit like that. Like, I don't want that. So, 
I always like, you know, just calculate and just, you know, make sure like the persons and people like, you know, like, and I don't want to say persons because it's not that it's when I'm in a relationship, it's not like I'm always, and then too, I might be a little prude because I like, I be waiting y'all. Like I got to make sure like, you know what I'm saying? Like I be trying, like, I just, I don't know. When it comes to sex, like I'm just very particular. Like, I don't just share myself with anybody. And when I share myself with somebody, I, it's because I feel like, you know what I'm saying? That person values me as much as I value them or, like, they value my body. And it's, like, it's just, it's different. Like, I can't just, I can't just fuck. Like, I can't. It's hard. Like, I can't. I'm too, like, I'm too emotional. Like, I don't be like, like, I don't got time for that. Mm -mm. So, I'd rather be in a relationship. I'd rather just, you know what I'm saying? Like, have my person that I'm, like, you know, I can't, and I can't be with most people. Like, I, uh, I can't do that. I rather just have my person. You know what I'm saying? We sharing. I don't want to worry about STDs. And, you know, I don't want to worry about that. And then sex periods, too. Sex periods is real, y'all. Like, for real. Sex periods is real. Like, I don't like that. Because then it's like, okay, you doing this. And then I'm having sex with that person. Because that, sh that shit travel. Like, for real. So, you got to be careful. I feel like, for me, that's just me. That's what makes me comfortable. Like, having that one person that I'm having, like, you know, I'm having sex with. I'm in a relationship with. I know I could trust, you know, and I could just be myself with like that makes me more comfortable. I'm not saying that thing is wrong with any other way. I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm just saying what works for me. Um, so at the question at hand, have I ever faked it? Now looking back, yeah, when I was younger, cause I ain't know like what I was you know what I'm saying? I didn't know what to expect. I was just like, Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know, like you younger, but like now, no. Mm mm. I haven't. So yeah, body shaming and how does it affect everyday life? <clears throat> this right here is a good one because I feel like body shaming is something that has not just started. Like it's been shit, years, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like it goes with what society think is okay at a certain time. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, what's in at this time? And I just feel like body shaming comes in different forms like for example now what's in big boobs and big breasts you know what i'm saying so we have a lot of women feeling and i'm not saying anything is wrong with going to get you know what i'm saying implants or surgery or anything like that at the end of the day i feel like whatever floats your butt like i would never judge um me personally i'm just not with it because first of all i'm scared of needles Girl, I can't even, I barely can get a shot at the damn doctor. Like, ain't no way I'm finna be able to go get no surgery. Like I said, I feel like the only surgery I'd be able to get is when I, like, have my kids and I don't, like, breastfeed and stuff like that. Like, I want to get a lift or something. If, like, and that's that's just me thinking, like, if, if, if I had, like, if I ever had to, like, if I had to pick something, it would be that. And it would only because, like, my breast is, like, not how I, you know, or wanted it to be after I had children, after I breastfed and stuff like that. But at the same time, I feel like I'm too scary. Like, I can't. I'm too scary. Ain't no way I'm finna be able to sit down and like, just let them cut on me. Like, I'm scared. I'm scary, y'all. Mm-mm. It ain't. I don't like that. Uh, mm -mm. For me. But for other women, like, I feel like it's whatever for your boat. Like, you know, I definitely feel like, you know, confidence is key. So, if this there is something that has been affecting you for your whole life and you have the option to change that and make yourself feel better and make you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never knocking that. I feel like you should do what you want to do. But I also feel like it's to the point where now we see on social media that this is in and now you see perfectly, you know, perfectly pretty, you know, beautiful women changing their body because they think that they're not beautiful because it's not what the Instagram model look like. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not your typical big boobs and this and this and that. And not that, not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but I think that it should be a choice because it's something that you internally, you know what I'm saying? Just like, I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I want to do it. Like, not because you feel like um, you not good enough and you got to do that. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, don't do it because you like, oh, I ain't good enough. Who I could be? I'm like, no, you're good enough with the skin that you're in. Now, if it's just something that you always want to grow up and, and do and, and you just like, you want to do this shit and you don't want to care about what nobody else think, like, don't. Like, don't be sitting there like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, the moral of the story is do what you want to do. Like, if you want to get surgery, get surgery because that's what you want to do. Not because you know, you see this girl on Instagram doing it or not because you see, you know what I'm saying, the average woman, quote unquote, on society do it because that's not the average woman. The average woman is you. Like, the average woman is is who you want to be. 
and don't and and if you want to do it, do it because you know that's what you want to do, and 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 be happy, and don't let nobody else tell you oh well, this and this. No, you did it because that's what you want to do. Do what you want to do unapologetically, because you got it's your life, and and you ain't got to explain yourself, you know. But for me, I'll say that's just not. I'm just too scary, and it's not what I. I don't. That ain't. I don't want to do it. Like mm -mm, I like. I like my skinniness. I'm what one one ten one. 112 about that i'm five two five two and a half like i definitely want to gain some weight but i just prefer to do like gym you know what i'm saying eat protein and all that like i just prefer to do that because i ain't i don't want nobody cutting on me like <laughs> y'all i do not want nobody cutting on me that's just that ain't it um but i feel like it affects everyday life because you have a lot of women, you know, um, feeling insecure about themselves, feeling like they're not good enough, feeling like they have to be somebody they not in order to be accepted by society. You have a lot of things, you know, just as far as bigger, like, I won't say nothing wrong. Like, you have bigger, smaller, taller, you got all type of body shapes. Like, even in fashion, they tell us you have, like, oval, you got you know what I'm saying? You got rectangle. You got like it's it's not. Excuse me if I'm standing wrong, but like it's it's not about it's it's individuality. You know what I'm saying? It's about how God created you, in my opinion. In my opinion, so I don't feel like one should be like, oh, this ain't this ain't the norm or this ain't the norm because at the end of the day, society is people's opinion. If we being real, like it's it's somebody's opinion. Shit. Fuck their opinion, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, don't allow um, society to tell you what you should look like or what is accepted to look like. No, you look in that mirror every day. If you don't like something about yourself and you look in that mirror and you say, like, this is something I want to change, you change it for you. Not because somebody over here is saying, like, oh, no, that ain't cute. Well, bitch, it ain't cute. The fuck? To you but to me i look good so i feel like that's what you got to do like you got to be in a position where no matter what you feel like you look good and i feel like that's i mean we and we all go there like i ain't trying to talk and say like i ain't never had these insecurities because i every woman do you know what i'm saying i still do i still be like okay look i don't like that or like say if i got these dark marks or something like okay let me put some cocoa butter on it like and that's what I'm saying. I'm saying everybody has insecurities. Everybody go through things. Everybody has things that they don't like. But I don't feel like it should be, you should change it because you don't like it. Not because somebody else don't like it. Or not because it's not your average, typical thing that, you know what I'm saying, is going around nowadays, you know? Like, don't try to fit in. Like, be you, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Moral of the story, I just think body shaming is really stupid, like. I don't know. I just think it's stupid because it's it's judgmental. It's I just think everybody should be accepted for who they are. Like mind your, and then I think it's also too mind your damn business. Like why is you worrying about my body? You know what I'm saying? Like my worry about your body. Like why are we body shaming? Why are you worried about my body in the first goddamn place? Like mind your business. Like who? Why are you even minding my business to tell me what's acceptable or not? Like, I'm acceptable because I accept myself, and God accepts me the way I am. So, accept your ass over there. Respectfully. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all. Okay, so, the next topic is relationships. I love them. Like, I'm, I've am i always been, like, a love romantic. I always watch, like, romantic movies, Christmas movies. I'm a hopeless. I, I don't want to say hopeless. I'm a hopeful romantic. Like, I love romance. I love, I just love love. I love to see people, you know, in love. I love to see people happy. I love to see people, like, you know, especially that old school love, y'all, that old love. They be like, yeah, we married 60, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like, I aspire. That's why I aspire. Like, I love I just love love, I think mainly because, um, you know, growing up in Chicago, you, like, I won't say in Chicago, I was saying in just anywhere in, in life, you know what I'm saying? I grew up with a single mom, so it's definitely like, I want to, you know, I want to be married. Not that there was nothing wrong with it, like, shout out to my mom, mom did everything, you know, my dad's in my life as well, too. It's just like my mom, you know, just seeing her, you know, just be just this amazing woman you know that took care of everything and did everything you know and, and raised me to be such a strong woman like i just feel like i definitely 
learned from her, you know what I'm saying, in, in different ways. And it's like, I do want to be able to provide, you know, not even so much as, like, yeah, definitely, like, provide that household for my children, but, like, more of, like, that love. Like, I love love, like, genuine love. I know I, I feel like nowadays people just put, like, this tarnish and bad, like, you know, like, they put a bad stigma on relationships. Like, it's all about, like, fuck that nigga, fuck that bitch, get this money, da da da, da. Like, girl, get your own money. And nigga, like, stop, like, relax. Like, it's okay to be faithful. It's okay to love somebody. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to, you know, like, I, I don't know. I, don't, I just feel like the society we live in is just, in my opinion, it's just, it's not okay you know like don't get me wrong i'm never i feel okay okay okay, okay, okay. so i feel like it, it got out of hand like i definitely agree with women standing up for themselves i definitely agree with independent women like not taking men shit like that's my opinion like no you don't have to take no man shit like it's okay to you know be by yourself like i'm talking about for women that is it's just not happy or like they you know or like not meaning like okay they they like they feel like what am I trying to say? Like, they feel like, oh, like, I can't get nobody better. Or, oh, like, he all I got. Or, oh, like, not, or, but they're accepting abuse. Or, like, they, they, like, you know, or they're just not, like, they not able to be themselves. Or they not able to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they not able to, what am I trying to say? Like, if you're not happy in a relationship, like, or don't, like, don't just settle in a relationship. Or don't feel like, oh, you just have to be in a relationship to be in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel like I love that era and, like, that aspect that we as women are in. We in a, we in a women, we as women are in that era. Or I don't even feel like as women, because men are in it too. I feel like that, that aspect of, I'm not settling. Like, I know my worth. I know my standards. I know what I deserve. I know what I give. I know what I bring to the table, quote unquote. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know what it is that I exude. So I know that it is that it, I know what it is that I should receive. So I, I love the aspect. Like, we as women, but baby, what? We standing up. You know what I'm saying? We have so many influential women and I age bracket that you know it's just like about their business they got their own money they got their own you know what i'm saying way of thinking they, they boss like they just bosses and i love that and i love the fact that um the, we are and we as women are standing up for ourselves and saying like i'm not finna just sit at home while you because think about it back in the days they used to be having like five six seven families on us y'all <laughs> like men used to be doing us wrong like because we didn't have like we couldn't work, you know what I'm saying? Like, we couldn't vote. Like, it's so many things that we as women have now gained. You know, we gained power. We gained our voice. And I don't think we should shun that out. I don't think that we should shut up. I don't think that we should go back to the old ways. No, I think that we should continue to be, you know, great, successful women in relationships, you know? But I don't think that we should sit here and just be like, hey, fuck these niggas, you know, use them for their money. You know what I'm saying? No, I think that we can still be strong, influential powerful loving women but we can also still have that submissive and loving and caring and relationship side you know what i'm saying because submissive goes two ways i feel like a man can submit too you know and so i feel like we can still be successful we can still be business owners we can still be you know working women we can still be strong and you know having our own way of thinking having our own way of doing things um, but we can still be in a relationship. Like, I don't think that we should just, just tarnish the, the representation of relationships because now relationships and marriages be looking crazy. It look like it's crazy to get in there, but really I feel like love is so pure. Like when you, when you got somebody that love you for real unconditionally, when you got somebody that's going to ride with you, that got your back, that love you, it's fun. Like, love is fun. Love is happy. Love, you can go see the, you can travel. Like, you got, like, a best friend. Like, that you can do everything with. Like, love is, like, having a be in a relationship is so fun for me. Like, I love love. Um, but I think I love the right love. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think it's worth being in a toxic relationship or a bad relationship like i rather like i rather be by myself than being in a, in a toxic or bad relationship or accepting some shit that i don't deserve you know what i'm saying but i rather be if i had a, the choice between a relationship or single i would choose a happy loving relationship 
that I know is going to, you know, go go far. Like, and plus, too, I don't just date to date. Like, I'm dating to marry. Like, I'm dating to be with somebody for, you know, forever. Like, I ain't trying to waste my time. So, it's like, I don't know. I just love genuine true you know what i'm saying happiness relationships like for example uh who latoya and the best oh please don't oh y'all i don't know his name but y'all know what i'm talking about he just proposed to her at his at her, um excuse me y'all i know it's at the tip of my tongue like i know it's his name but i can't say it. it's at the tip of my tongue but he just proposed to her like at the end of her show latoya fitzgerald and uh it was at the end of her fashion show i was like yes like you know or like for example like um i had witnessed a proposal at the black girl social club event child like i was like oh my god so but so just ex to experience the love in a room like one of my roommates my good friends lima she had got married like i just be so excited for people you know to really find that love um but i don't think that it's worth being something bad you know i think self-love is more important than being in something bad but I think that, you know, we, nowadays, society just puts such a bad, like, name on love when that ain't it. Like, a true good relationship is the shit. I'm telling y'all. Like, when you in a relationship with someone that you love, you in love with, that you just, like, you just be like, oh, babe, what we gonna do today? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just be excited, so... Okay, okay, now we're going to go into self-love tips. So, this kind of just is like a good transition. Hold on, y'all. I ain't had no wine in a minute. Come on, let's take a sip of our wine. Okay, we got 34 minutes, so this is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, self-love tips. So, what can I say? Self-love tips, I definitely say words of affirmations. Like, one thing I know has helped me definitely in the past, I got to get back on it too, um, is sticky notes. Like, I had did like a lot of sticky notes and i would put them on my wall and basically i would just type not type i would write um words of affirmation just i am beautiful i am strong i am you know healing uh, you know just whatever my mental state and whatever i felt i feel like that's one thing that really helps you know self-love and self-development because you're constantly embedding into yourself who you are and who you want to be you know what i'm saying not what society tell you not what pain or your past tell you but who you truly you know want to be in you got the keys well you got the paint to your canvas you got the paintbrush to your canvas that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> you got the paintbrush to your canvas so i feel like that really be able to you know sit back and saying those daily being able to put those on your wall or your mirror or your door or some place that you're at often like just being able to recite those to yourself daily you know what i'm saying often and and keeping it into yourself child i'm telling you also doing like things that makes you happy as far as like you know going to get massages i don't, I love getting massages i love like you know being able to pamper myself so i think that's one thing that you know really helps getting your you know whatever you whatever it pamper you wherever you at whether it is you know getting your nails done or putting on press-ons whether it is you know doing your feature self or going to get them done whether it's taking a walk or you know i like to go to stone mountain like whatever you like to do like i love nature so whatever you love to do if you love to you know shoot walk around or if you love to play the game or like whatever you love to do like just do things that makes you happy um another thing is journaling i feel like self-love is reflecting like and being honest with yourself like being able to be able to say like this is what i love about myself this is what i don't like about myself i'm gonna fix these things and i'm not going to judge myself for the things that i don't like but I, instead i'm going to embrace those things you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day everybody else gonna criticize you don't criticize yourself things that you you know what i'm saying ain't like you like it's cool you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm work on that and so i think you know just journaling uncovering your day having your back ain't nobody gonna have your back like you got your back like have your back you know what i'm saying so don't beat yourself up like don't consent consistently tell yourself what you're not doing but find a solution like okay what can I do to make this happen? Like, what can I do to, you know, feel better? What can I do to make myself, you know, enjoy the day, you know? Um, be gentle with yourself. Have grace with yourself. Like, I know for me, like, I'd be like, Jazzy, dang, da, 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 da. and I had to be like, okay, no, it's okay. Like, yeah, it's okay. Like, it's it's okay. Like, it's not that bad. Like, people make mistakes. Like, 
don't be so hard on yourself. Like, first of all, we're young, like we're growing, we understanding ourselves, we learning ourselves. At the same time, like, shoot, when we owe, we gonna make mistakes. Like, have some grace on yourself because everybody, like I said, everybody else gonna be trying to judge you and criticize you. You can't do that to yourself. You gotta be like, shit, you gotta laugh at that shit. Like, damn, I did that. Mm, damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, do stuff like that. Um, I'll say meditation, yoga. Like I said, acts of, like, even if that's, that, but that's just me. Like, I don't want you to do what I do. Like, if that's what you like, okay, cool, cool, cool. But do things that you like to do. Like, Shit, if you like the just sit there and look at airplanes, you know what I'm saying? Something like just do anything that makes you happy. Um, I'll say self love is the biggest thing, it's the first thing because if you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else properly. Leave you know, like you, you, you physically, you just can't because you're so busy, like putting yourself on a back burner that you're gonna burn yourself out, you're gonna put yourself in a position where you just like explode and i've been there before y'all that's why i'm telling y'all like you have to love yourself first you have to take that time not before no job not before no relationship not before no family like not before nothing you have to see if, if you overwhelmed like hey i need five minutes and let me go breathe in this corner real quick you know what i'm saying like whatever it takes for you to be okay like that's what you need to do and no it's okay to not be okay if you need to put your phone on do not disturb for three days i mean check in let people know you okay but you know like just love on you you know look at you look at you in the mirror tell yourself i'm beautiful tell yourself i am brave tell yourself i am bold tell yourself i'm that you know what I'm saying? Like, and period. I ain't saying nobody is better than nobody, but ain't nobody better than you. You know what I'm saying? You the shit. Everybody the shit. We all the shit. So be the shit, you know? Uh, So this is the last question, y'all. We almost said like 40 minutes, so I'm going to hurry up. So this going to be too long because I want this to be short. <laughs> um, But um the last question is how was the move from chicago to atlanta so i've been here since 2017 and i came here for college i, I went to clark Atlanta university so i stayed here after i, I um, graduated in 2021 in december and it's been cool honestly like i really love atlanta like i feel very um at home here i don't know why like i sound from chicago but I don't know. Like, I just feel it's like, it's cool. I don't, I don't know how to, it's really too much to say. Meaning like, only thing is the food. I know you probably hear everybody from Chicago say this, but the shit is true. The food is so much different. Like, I mean, of course I miss my family, you know, cause I was always like, you know, with my family, like that's, I'm always with them. Like if anybody that know me know, like I'm always with my family. So that was a big change. But I think like as time went on, like what I'm going on five years, six years so it's like by the time you know like I'm, I'm getting used to it now um i'm understanding everything now like i'm learning the land i'm learning like you know the areas and stuff so it's like i'm getting like more used to it and i like it so i think it was easy for me because this is something that i always like i knew like when i was a sophomore in high school y'all i was like oh, i know i'm going to clark like i know this is where i'm going and so i worked from a sophomore to senior <clears throat> to get to clark and so like I was prepared, I was excited. Like anybody know, like when you like making out of the Chicago, like it's, you know, it's a blessing. Honestly, like it's just you see so much here. Like you, you just dream big. Like it's just I don't know. It's a different vibe. Like it's peaceful. It's like it's you just see so much opportunity here. You know, and so I think it's really been a blessing for me. Um, of course, like I said, I miss my family. I don't really be able to get back as much as I would like, but I feel like in the future I'll be able to get back as much as I like. I don't know why I'll be looking up at the at the ceiling, y'all. I guess because I just be talking. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the Chicago the move from Chicago to Atlanta was very good. Um, I think when I first like got to school, I was real nervous because I had to be there a week early because I was um in chair camp. And so I had to like be there a week early and it was real like nervous because I was the only person in my dorm and I was like, dang, but I was excited. I was like, dang, I'm really in Atlanta. Like I'm really at school, y'all. I picked up, like, I was 18 years old, y'all, like crazy. So yeah, it was cool. But 
this is the end of the video i hope that y'all enjoyed this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and tap that bell notification so we can stay in um yeah cheers to the first cutie talk i hope this goes well i probably ramble a lot so my bad <laughs> and mm -hmm. i love y'all good night mm -hmm. Thank you.